If you like nice cars, do yourself a favor and click off this video right now. You are poor. You might think this is just a fit of jealous rage, but I have another theory. Maybe he was playing The Floor is Lava and just takes the game really seriously. Even hypercars have to be crash tested for safety reasons. Every test costs more than my house. Finish him. This is either the world's most expensive canvas or the worst paint job ever. Bruh, look at this dude. Normally, getting the convertible upgrade on your car costs tens of thousands of dollars. This truck driver may have just found a cheaper alternative. Some people see the success of others and have to ruin it. Like this guy who decided to vandalize a Porsche just for the sake of it. Nope. It's not always supercar owners that damage their vehicles. Sometimes it's guys without a reversing camera installed. Some people just don't appreciate the beautiful sound of a V12 engine. Like this guy who lines up a noisy Aventador and takes aim. It doesn't matter how expensive your car is. If you're a criminal in the Philippines and you're caught, this could be the fate of your supercar collection. I guess changing seats in a busy street could lead to a very expensive mistake. When you challenge Jake Paul to a rock, paper, scissors match, with the winner having to smash the windshield, you better believe it'll get done. I didn't think he was gonna do it. When you want to own a supercar but have only saved 75% of what you need to pay it off. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Maybe it's the sleek aerodynamics of a Lamborghini, but they sure do make great BMX bike ramps. Heavy rain and nice cars are two things which never go together. Something tells me that's the start of a very bad day. Not only does the Filipino government destroy the cars of arrested gangsters, but they do it in the most brutal way possible. Car lovers watching, you've been warned. Fatality. When a bear couldn't climb through the window, his door was the next best thing. If you're a master at the claw game, there's a job waiting for you as an adult. You can spend your 9 to 5 smashing impounded supercars that used to belong to criminals. If your Bugatti's engine is overheating, this is how not to cool it down. It may be fun to do in Tony Hawk Row Skater, but using an Audi R8 as a skate ramp is gonna be expensive. This guy's the reason you don't drive the car out of the dealership yourself. What's the best time to check if your Ferrari's handbrake is on? Hopefully before it gets transported by this truck driver. I haven't cried like that since Titanic. This biker got a little too close for comfort. He could have picked a less expensive car to crash into. That moment when you're sick of racing and just want to hitch a ride on the roof of another car. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is really. In this Grand Prix event, the absolute worst nightmare of any driver unfolded just two minutes into the race. And there's millions and millions and millions of dollars of damage here. Supercar envy is everywhere. He's just lucky the windshield held up against his weight. <laughs> Question of the day: Can you steal the spirit of ecstasy from a Rolls Royce? <laughs> All right. Well. I say no. Oh, oh my That's god. The first time. I'll never understand BMX riders who see a parked Lamborghini and want to use it as a ramp. When you have more courage than brain cells, this is a great way to destroy your G-Wagon suspension in three days or less. Some artists choose walls as their canvas. Others want their art to be priceless, so they choose a supercar instead. <laughs> yeah, boy. Behind every crashed supercar is a story worth telling. I wonder who is driving this expensive mistake. Hey. Imagine saving up for decades for your first supercar just for this to happen. Oh, he needs some milk. When your boss asks you to back his car out of the driveway and you take him extremely literally. It's time to stop. Unless you're earning seven figures a year, don't park your Ferrari at the end of a driving range. We can't lose that there. <laughs> Every time a music video is filmed, a poor Rolls Royce has to be sacrificed. 
maybe a busy road isn't the best place for a photo shoot. They say you should always see your commitments through to the end. I guess the Hyundai driver took that literally and kept driving. Now I'm guessing this guy forgot which pedal was the accelerator and which was the brake. That's the only explanation for this nightmare of a parking job. Never use a Lamborghini as a bike ramp. He looks pretty pleased with himself if you ask me, but he won't be much longer. Have you heard of the new Bentley Compact Mini? I've had a crush on this design since forever. In this alternate universe, Borat accidentally destroys David Dobrik's $100,000 Tesla. Cheap car, you expect it? It's not cheap, it's expensive. No, it's an expensive car. They say pedestrians have the right of way. And for this guy, there's nothing that's going to stop him getting across that road. Bye, have a great time. This right hand turn is a little tighter than expected. He's likely to take the curb and the broom gate with them. Oh man. I'm not sure why a Porsche 911 would be so far off the road, but something tells me that's not gonna just buff out. A few moments later. All we had to do was follow the damn train. Every now and then, jealous car vandals get exactly what they deserve. After breaking the side mirror of a perfectly innocent car, he got what he had coming. Here's one way to tell the Dobrit brothers you think their content is cheesy. <laughs> Everyone always talks about how much they want to own a convertible until they get egged for being rich. Pro tip, if you break up with a girl and she knows where you live, maybe park your car inside the garage for the next few months, just in case. Enemy spotted. This guy was out enjoying a Sunday drive when his roof suddenly decided to nope out. As long as she drives fast enough, she should be fine. Or so she thought anyways. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Of all the types of jealous vandalism that supercar owners face on a daily basis, I feel like this one is at least considerate. Not the message, but the fact that it can be washed off with a hose. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. They had us. We weren't defeated, but they had us. This is why there should be a minimum age limit at car shows. One wrong move and there goes your college fun buddy. Oh, you stink! This taxi driver came within an inch of the most expensive insurance claim of his career. My question is what the hell? Fastest way to ruin someone's fake flex is proving the car's actually yours. If you can afford a Ferrari, something tells me a mover isn't exactly going to break the bank. Customer said the car's pulling violently to the left. Not sure why. Don't warm up your tires before drag racing. This could be you. Call this whatever you want, but there's something definitely wrong with this angry pedestrian. Great arm, though. <laughs>